On a recent November evening inside the Academy of Music, members of the Valley Light Opera were rehearsing for their upcoming fall presentation of Die Flautermaus, one of the most popular light operas around. The group has been performing at the Academy since 2011, but their history goes back well beyond that. Michael Greenebaum is a founding member. Only Linda Greenebaum and I remain from the dozen or so who gathered in Bill and Sally Venman's living room on a cold March day in 1975. Bill and Sally Venman are rightfully known as the founders of Valley Night Opera. It was Gilbert and Sullivan operas that really struck a chord with the founding members. In the early years, the group held their performances in the auditorium of Amherst Regional High School, using classrooms as dressing rooms and we were able to perform, to rehearse, to build sets, to build costumes, right there in that one location, which was wonderful. We were all together, a very cohesive group. It started pretty much focused on Gilbert and Sullivan, but there were only 12 Gilbert and Sullivan shows, and so as time went on and we were repeating the shows several times, uh, we also started thinking about, you know, what also fits with the kind of shows that we like to do. VLO shows include active choruses, a live orchestra, comedy, and fun, all staying true to the best traditions of community theater. And that community feel is at the heart of their productions. It feels like people appreciated the stuff that we shared with them and that they value music and that they had a good time and that we also had a good time. I enjoyed being on stage. I mean, I love light opera, musical comedy. Um, gives me an opportunity to make a fool of myself without being, and without embarrassing my wife. <laughs> One of the reasons Die Flautermaus was chosen for this year's show was that it has an appeal for younger performers, something the group has aimed to attract more of in recent years. Matthew Taylor is a music education major at UMass Amherst. He has performed in other operettas in the region, but this is his first time performing for Valley Light Opera. It's become somewhat of a path in life that I'm wanting to start to head down. So trying to find any, every, any and every opportunity I can to uh, uh, perform opera. Costume design is what attracted Phyllis Jordan to the VLO. She has been part of the group since 1994. Most of the shows we do make the majority of the costumes new. We do have a very large costume collection from which we can pull. Uh, and use costumes from previous shows, maybe remodel them a bit, make adjustments on them. Uh, this particular show, we made all of the women's gowns from scratch, and most of the men's costumes were pulled from stock. Counting cast, chorus, orchestra, costume and set designers, builders and volunteers, they say as many as 100 people can be involved in putting on a show. There are so many different places that people can help, and it's lovely to see those areas that even if they don't want to be on stage, they can really think that community theater matters and that there's a real place for this and that the company itself is a, is a place that they want to spend their time. It's kind of like a chill runs down here, around your body, like the audience is cheering and you're standing up there, you've just finished singing a note and you're, the orchestra's played their final chord and it's just exhilarating. <laughs>